Hello everyone, this is Robin Carden with MyPinkStamper.com. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that you're with me today. I have a super fun and gorgeous card for you. I'm going to be spotlighting the Timeless Tropical Stamp Set along with the In the Tropics dies. So right now I'm supposed to be on a beach in Maui with other Stampin' Up! demonstrators who have earned the yearly incentive trip. But because everything was canceled this year, I am at home trying to make the best of it. So I thought I'd make a fun and bright card to celebrate the week that I should be in Hawaii. So everything I'm doing is kind of tropical this week. Okay, so I'm going to tell you everything that I'm using on the project. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. You can find everything you see in today's video directly on my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com. And my name is Robin Carden. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and reach out to me and I'd love to answer them for you. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start with our stamping. I'll have the item codes as well as the description and the sizes on the screen for you. If you haven't, click the little subscribe button. Take a second to do that and don't forget to click the little notification bell as well so you'll be notified when I have a brand new video for you. All right, so this is our Grandy Apple Green cardstock. It's cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going to be stamping this leaf. I'm using this leaf from the stamp set. I'm using these palm trees and I'm going to be using the thank you. It's a very versatile stamp set. There's a birthday sentiment, thank you, hello, a friendship. There's This is for practically any time of the year. This is a really good stamp set to use. Okay, so I'm using Old Olive ink and I'm going to stamp this off so it's just a little bit lighter. I'm stamping it off once and then I'm just going to get a lighter version. I'm going to stamp all over the background. It's not really, um, I don't have any sort of pattern that I'm using, but this just helps you to have just a lighter look. It's not so stark and dark. I didn't mean to rhyme, but I did. I'm a poet, didn't know it. All right. <laughs> okay, I think I'm about there. It's just so therapeutic to stamp. If you've never stamped before, why not give it a shot? Anyone can do it, super easy. Okay, I'm gonna close up my ink pad and I don't need my background paper anymore. Now I'm using our Tuxedo Black Memento and I'm going to stamp the sentiment, thank you. And I'm going to stamp this off to the left side and you'll be able to see it right there. Okay, I'll put this away. Now that's all of the stamping. The rest we're going to be using the die cut machine. We'll be actually be stamping on the inside of the card in just a little bit. Got ahead of myself there. All right, so we are going to take some vellum cardstock, and this is just a scrap piece right here. And I'm using one of the dies from my very favorite die uh, set in our catalog and it's called Hippo and Friends. And it's right here, it's a very huge die set and it coordinates with the Hippo Happiness stamp set that I designed for my million dollar uh, achievement. I got to go to Stampin' Up! and help design this stamp set. So, the stamp set's amazing but the dies are so versatile. You can use them with anything, any occasion. So I have been using them a lot. I'm going to use this one right here just run that through and then I'll go ahead and grab all the other ones I need. Now I'll just go ahead and carefully pull this out of the vellum and look at that, just a fun shape and I'll set that aside. Now I'm going to be using the Tropics dies in the Tropics dies and I'm going to be using three different cardstock colors. I'm using our Magenta Madness. Isn't this fun and bright? This is one of our brand new ink colors for the year 2020 to 2022. And it's so fun. I was so happy when they released it. Okay, we're gonna put that one right there. And I'm using Old Olive. I'm gonna put that one right there. And then I'm using Daffodil Delight. And I'll put this right here. This is so fun. Okay, so now we're going to take the pineapple body. I think that that's what I'm gonna call it. And I'm gonna put it here. I like to use my, put my dies in at a little bit of an angle. It helps to get a nice and precise cut. 
So when possible, put them in so they're not going in flat, that they're going in at a little bit of an angle, just a little tip for you. Or if you have a bunch of angles, you can do that. And then we're going to use the flowers, the th set of three flowers right here, okay? And then now I can just run these through. Now, because this one is a little more detailed than this one is, well, they're all kind of detailed. I'm going to run them all through forward carefully. And then I'm going to go back, hoping that they didn't jump. Sometimes if they jump, it'll move a little bit. Okay. All right. And our brand new Stampin' Up! die cut machine is available to demonstrators in August. So if you're interested in the, if you're in the USA and you're interested in joining my team for the discount, you are able to get the brand new cutting machine starting in August, the first week of August. So reach out to me if you're interested in that. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. All right. So I'm going to grab our take your pick tool. If I can find it. Here it is. And I'm just going to poke out some of these little areas so I can kind of pull this out here. There we go. And there's a brush attachment. There's all sorts of fun attachments to this. All right, I'm just gonna make a little bit of a mess. Hopefully not too big of one. And I just usually use my finger nails to get most of it. And if there's any left, I'll just use the take your pick tool. Just run that through. I mean, point it over. Sometimes the things I'm thinking don't come out of my mouth the way that I thought. Does that happen to you guys all the time? I'll say something and I'm like, wait, that's not even what I was trying to say. Something totally different came out. Okay. So now I'm going to carefully take this one out and I just kind of pull it up on the bottom. And there's only, I think there's just one spot right here that needs to be poked out. Okay. And if you want to push them up a little bit, you can to give yourself a little more dimension. All right. And I'm going to save the scraps. And now we're going to take this piece of basic black cardstock and I'm going to grab a sponge and I'm grabbing the background paper again. I have one of our sponges cut in fourth. This is a Stampin' sponge and I'm going to use our mono multi-purpose glue. And I'm going to add a little bit, just a little glue to the bat or to my sponge. And now I'm going to take my pineapple, make sure that it's not upside down or you know the, the wrong side. I'm going to go ahead and just add this to that. And then turn this over and it's ready to go. It has adhesive on all of it. Just hold it down for a few seconds, set that aside. And if you want to use your silicone sheet, you can. I don't like to clean off my silicone sheet. I'd rather just throw away paper. <laughs> I'd rather just use a tiny bit of paper and throw it away. But it's up to you what you like to use. All right, so now I'm going to just take a pair of our paper snips. And I will cut this out. So just the black is throwing through, through it. And I'll speed this process up for you. Okay, there we go. We have it all cut out and ready to go. And now I can put this card together. It's going to be amazing. It's so beautiful and cute. It's going to help me not think about being on the beach right now. Or maybe it's going to have the opposite effect. <laughs> Who knows? All right, so I have a piece of our thick whisper white cardstock. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And you can also score this at four and a quarter if you'd like. Oh, actually I did. I did score this one at four and a quarter. Okay, I'm gonna fold this over. All right, give it a nice tight crease. Now I'm going to use our brand new Stampin' Seal. We have the Seal, and then we have the Seal Plus. Now the Seal Plus is a lot stronger. So this is for boxes and bags and scrapbooking. It's on here pretty much forever. I absolutely love this, and they're refillable. But for just everyday crafting, we have our new Stampin' Seal. This is stronger than our snail adhesive. There's a little bit of a learning curve, so I'm gonna show you some tricks and tips and techniques on how I use it. It took just a second to kind of understand how it worked and how to get it to work. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, for the first layer, the basic black cardstock. This is four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna turn this over. Now, I hold it like this. So the, the, the key is to have this part kind of be flat. So with seal, so I'm going to pull it flat and it's just a light touch. Pull it towards you. That's too much, but I'm kind of showing you how to do it. 
and then light, light touch, pull it towards you. And sometimes it might, the adhesive just like with the snail might pull down a little bit. So you just roll it, it's not a big deal. So there is this and it's ready right here. I'm going to add this now. Once you have this down, you want to make sure that it's where you want it to be because it's it's not going to pop back up, and that's actually a good quality in your adhesive. Now I'm going to take some of our ruched ribbon, and I'm going to turn this over and go ahead and just put two little spots there, and I'm going to wrap my ribbon around like this. Turn this over, and I'm just going to put it right into the adhesive. How nice is that? And then I'm going to carefully pull this toward me. Now, if you find that it's kind of giving you gunk on one side, that means you need to move your wrist over a little bit. Oops, I forgot to turn off my computer. It happens all the time. All right, so I have this on here. Okay, now what we're going to do is start layering this up. Now, I'm going to be adding the top of the pineapple to the back. So I am just going to add a little bit of adhesive to the top of the pineapple. And that way I can just put this on like this. Okay, now I'm going to add the Stampin' Seal just to the back of the body of this. And then also to the, I think that's all I'm going to be adding it on this one. And I'm gonna add it onto the vellum. Make sure it's nice and pressed on here. I'm gonna flip that over, press it down again. And now what I'll do is I will take some of our Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to add a couple to the top. And I, I like to use a lot of the dimensionals. I'm not sure how many you like to use, but the more the merrier for me. And I do find the backings everywhere in my house, no matter what I do. They end up on my socks, in my bed, everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here off to the left. And now we're going to add this super cute uh, little flower. And I'm going to use one of our mini dimensionals. If I can find our Stampin' dimensionals. We have our regular size and we have our minis. And I'm just gonna grab one off of my sheet really quick. They're just smaller. And I'm gonna put it on the back. And you'll be able to see it through the front, but I'm going to cover this up. So we'll go ahead and put this right here. Isn't that super cute? Now I'm going to take one of our rhinestones and I'll just take the take your pick tool just to kind of lift it up carefully on here. And then I'm gonna add this to the center, just like that. And now I have our quick and simple pink pineapple card. Isn't that so fun? You can find more of my projects, video tutorials, weekly giveaways, and just fun pictures over on my website, mypinkstamper.com. If you'd like to place an order for any of the items you see in today's video, you can go to shopmypinkstamper.com. And don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.